<laughs> yes, my friend. Hello. <clears throat> hello. Uh, yes. yes. Hello. Yes, uh, you are a Muslim, right? Uh, yes, yes, I am a Muslim. All right. Can you speak louder, please? Uh, yes, sir. I so, what do you like to louder. say to us? What do you like to share with us about life on air, as you know? Uh, uh, sir, can I uh, talk about something else that uh, you are uh, talking on the YouTube? Some. Can I talk about some other topic? Okay. What topic you want to talk about? Go ahead. Uh, sir, basically, uh, first of all, I would you know, like we, to... we are, we, you know, we are, I'm, I'm like you, nobody is sir of anybody. Speak to me as you wish. My name is a Christian. Feel free to call me Christian. Okay. Th thank okay. you for being uh, polite. Uh, I appreciate that. But, you know, I mean, there's nobody. Okay, brother. Uh, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Okay, brother. Right. So, uh, brother, I would like to ask you a question. Sure. That, uh, uh, do, you th uh, do you believe that uh, uh, there is prophecy of uh, Jesus Christ present in uh, Torah? There's a prophecy about Jesus Christ in the Torah. Yes, this well, is my all, question. There, all, do the you Torah, all the Torah is a prophecy because if you read, as an example, Genesis 5, you will see that the names, even the names of Adam, they are prophecies about Jesus. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, to, so likewise, I would like to say that uh, uh, as the prophecy, as the Jesus Christ was foretold in Torah, so likewise, uh, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was also foretold in Bible. Okay, so Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do not, I, I cannot exactly figure out which, verses. Which, which Bible? When you say Bible, Bible is a I mean book of books. When you say Bible, the Bible is book of books. So which book? Uh, sir, I do not uh, exactly know the uh, reference, but uh, I have a Protestant friend. Hmm. I have uh, one friend who uh, who is uh, Protestant, okay. and when I asked and when I asked him that uh, Prophet Muhammad is foretold in the Bible, so he said that Prophet Muhammad is not foretold in Bible, but uh, the Bible says about the Holy Spirit. That is not Prophet Muhammad, but Holy Spirit. Okay. So can you also uh, tell me about those verses? If you know yeah, well, I mean, if you read those verses, you will see it's speaking about a spirit, and that spirit is not Muhammad because Muhammad is not spirit; he's a man, right? Yes. Okay, so there's no need even to talk about it. So when when uh, when the Muslims they try to find Muhammad desperately in a book, in the same time they say that this book is corrupt. Isn't it? This is really crazy. What do you think? Yes, exactly. They say that uh, uh, okay. Bible is corrupt. So why and why I want to look for a, uh, for my prophet in a book? I believe it's not a book of God anymore. This is this uh, is a crazy. So, so the question so, is so, for you as a Muslim, you should ask yourself why so, why Muslims me, brother, uh, why Muslims can't uh, prove that Muhammad is a prophet from their book? Why they can't uh, prove that? Pardon me, what do you think? Par pardon me, brother, but I would uh, give you an argument likewise that uh, as we believe that Bible is corrupted. Uh, but we give the evidence from Bible. Likewise, you also, uh, the Christians also think that Torah is corrupted, but no, you also No, give that's not true. No, evidence. that's not true. Not a single Christian can say the Torah is corrupt. That's false. We accept all the Old Testament. This is why if you go and get the Bible now, you will find that the Old Testament and the New Testament is called the Bible. It's not just the New Testament. So whoever told you that, that's false. Secondly, the Muslims, when they say, mm -hmm. they, this is what they say in YouTube, right? That the Bible is corrupt, yes, yes. but the Quran says the opposite. If we go right now in the Quran, we will see the Quran saying that the Quran confirm what is with them. Yes. Okay. Lima yes, I don't yes. know if you speak Arabic. So the Quran doesn't yes. say for what it used to be with them. It says what is with them. So a book came confirm what is with them, chapter two, verse number eighty nine, and there's many verses, not only that. Yes, yes. So when their book says, when the Quran says, and this is your book says, confirm what is with us, and then you say to me, your book is corrupt. Who is the crazy here? Uh, no, sir. Uh, actually, uh, the argument that basically uh, that the Gospels are corrupt is that there are so many versions of Gospels, like Gospel of Luke, Gospel of John, and Gospel of Matthew. But friend, the friend, version of Quran my, is just my, one. My friend, no. You see, you, 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 with my respect to you, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you. This is ignorant of yes, you brother. to say so, because this is not a version. The, the Bible of Luke is the Bible according to mm -hmm. Luke. It's different from the yes, brother. So this is not different version. Four writers mm -hmm. for the same story. So this is the this is the Bible. This is not different version. This is not a new Bible. 
Our mm -hmm. Bible is four books. This is our Bible. Our book is four book, not one. Yes. So you got it wrong. Secondly, isn't it the Quran says that the Quran teach that Jesus had disciples? And he asked yes. them to help him to spread the message. So those are the disciples. Same time, your prophet, yes. he says, Khudul Quran an Arba, take the Quran from four. Yes, okay. exactly. So based on this, you Muslims should have four Quran according to four people. No, no, sir. That is that uh, the Prophet Sallallahu said that you should learn Quran from four people exactly. and that are the, so, the Sahabas. Okay, so learn Quran from four and now we have many versions of the Quran is not four. Even your Prophet says that Allah, he sent him the Quran, seven Quran, correct? No, they are basically their dialects of the Quran that how to recite the Quran. No, no, my they friend, are, if it's how to recite, this is not a new Quran then. This is silly to say how to recite. Because the, 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 the story is... Sir I, would just, sir, I would just like to give you an example. Like uh, in Surah Duha, okay. uh, it starts with Vadduha. So there are different dialects. We can say Vadduha, Vadduhe, Vadduhi. So these are no, the different is, dialects. This is a false argument. This is not true. Because there's a huge difference between those Quran. As an example, is it Khalifa or Khalifa? You know, you, yes. you, rec you recite Al-Fatiha, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Does it say, Ahdina Surat Al-Mustaqeen? Yes. Okay. What does Sirat al mustaqim mean? The straight path. Okay. Don't you know that in the book of Warsh, it is al Zurat yes. al mustaqim uh, No, I don't have this in my knowledge. Okay. al Zurat is a fart. Mm -hmm. So how that lead us to the straight fart? Yes. This is this is silly. So you will say now to me, this is a different way of recitation. This is a totally different world. If I ask you right now, and, uh, when Allah yes. He says, I am going to uh, create Fil Ardi Khalifa. Mm -hmm. Khalifa, Caliphate. I'm create I'm going yes, to create. Yes. yes. Okay. And this yes. is about Adam, right? Yes, yes. In different reading, it is Khalifa. There's a huge difference between yes. Khalifa and Khalifa. Khalifa yes. is somebody to inherit. Khalifa is a creation. So this is not different reading. This is different words, have different meaning. So, and sir, and I would also like to, uh, pardon me, but I would also like to uh, ask one, one more question that, do you respect our Prophet Muhammad, peace be No, I don't. Do he respect me to respect Why? him? He called me dog. Why? He called me filthy. He called me najis. He called me animal. He called me kuffar. He called me liar. He called me all names. And the top of that, he ordered you to attack me and kill me and take my wife. Why well, I respect him. No, he didn't say it. Okay, let's go. Chapter 9, verse 29. Read it for me. Uh, uh, can you read it? Huh? Can you read it for me? Would you go? I mean, you know, you are the Muslim, so re read it. Okay, I'll read it. But there are also rights of Christians written in the Quran. There are many rights. There's what? There are many rights. Prophet, peace be upon him, even allowed the Christians to pray in the Masjid al Nabi. Uh, come on, this is, this, is, this is all stories. You see, the Quran says, don't let the Mushrikeen get closer from the Kaaba for they are Najis. And we are, according to you, Mushrikeen. So don't give me those speeches. Those speeches will work no, with sir. somebody. What do you mean, no, sir? Um, uh, no. Are we uh, Mushrikeen or not? Are we Mushrikeen as a uh, Christian? Are we Mushrikeen according to Islam or no? No, no, no respect, brother. You are not Mushrikeen. You are Ahle Kitab according to us. And we okay, can even guys, marry you. Okay, my friend, what's your name? Uh, no, sir, I cannot tell you my name. Give me a name. Uh, give me a name I, to call you with. What's your name? Give me a name. Give me a name. Uh, human, human. Your name is a human. No problem. That's a good name, actually. Yeah, your prophet, you don't deserve it. Anyway, listen to this. You just said that the Quran does not call us uh, Mushrikeen. Correct? Yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes. So now if I if I show you that the Quran says so, what you would do? I would uh, do research on it and I would art, ask uh, different uh, scholars of Islam about this. No, no, no. Um, what, so when you say to me something, are you saying it because you are sure or you are just uh, making things up? No, no, sir. I am sure about them, but I am uh, just raising the point that uh, there is contextual, there is okay. uh, context of seeing something. Oh, context, come on, context, what context? The story is there. It says, those who say that Jesus is God, he is Allah, they are Mushrikeen, chapter 5, verse number seven, 17. What, um, what shirk mean? What shirk mean? What shirk mean? Refresh my memory. What the word Mushrikeen mean? 
those who do shirk what does that mean who associate partners with god okay who believe that jesus is god correct yes okay that make us mushrikeen or not mm, yes according to this definition thank you so it, so you you know you speak with my respect to you with ignorance confirming your ignorance and you claim that you know you are a muslim obviously you are not you are you know you don't have knowledge same time your prophet he says those who they are mushrikeen they are filthy so don't let them enter the holy ground in the same so, time sir, if this is the point i would like to quote a verse from the holy quran and uh, that verse is in the uh, surah araf mm -hmm. and it is written that uh, if a, uh, if anyone is uh, a muslim or a christian or a jew but he does good deeds so he will enter the paradise it is written in surah araf my friend this is this is when your prophet was without army he was desperate to make anyone follow him he did not know what to do so he promised even the sabi and who worship the stars and the and the holy fire to be mm -hmm. in heaven but those are people don't even worship allah you see mm -hmm. the sabi and if you go and you know if you go and read their their religion and even though so, supposed to today the, the sabi and trying to present themselves in front of muslims that they are close mm -hmm. to the muslims but they are not the sabi and mm -hmm. our people who they are worshiping uh, 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 stars and they have a holy fire and even abraham supposedly he is one of them mm -hmm. you know the story of abraham exactly. right okay so yes, abraham yes. is one of them and they are worshiping what according to the according to the quran those worship you know uh, idols idols for what idols of uh, gods of uh, sky which yes. is stars and etc in chapter 6 yes. verse number 74 abraham he said to his father azar are you going to worship idols as God? Okay, so how in the world uh -huh. Muhammad he said to the same people you will go to heaven? Yes. <laughs> this is crazy. So brother, <laughs> so brother, I will uh, study these things, but I respect you. You are just like my elder brother. So uh, brother, I would just uh, like to request you that please uh, don't uh, speak uh, bad things about Prophet Muhammad. It's no, no, my, my friend, I am here. I'm here. You see, don't tell me please, etc. I'm here to expose this filthy man. He's a child molester, a person. Who is <laughs> but brother, when I am respecting you and no, I am saying that you, know, you, don't, you don't have to respect me. Who cares if you respect me or not? This is not about respect. Don't be a fool. Who cares about respect? I respect you. Respect me. This is this is garbage talk. We are talking about yes. faith here. We are talking about faith. We are not and talking can about. Can I also ask you one question about uh, Christianity directly? Well, go ahead. That is masturbation allowed in Christianity. Well, Jesus was busy making the blind see. He is not busy talking about masturbation. This is what where Muhammad he filled the gap. Muhammad is a person. He is busy with his penis, his testicles. He is busy with the virgins. Each time you sleep with them, Allah will put his finger there and he will make them virgin. You will have 70 years orgasm. Your penis will be endless. So Jesus was making the blind see, was walking in water, was healing the leper, was feeding thousands, and was forgiving sin. Muhammad was busy with the bathroom. When you enter the bathroom with your left foot, you will become invisible. If you don't, Shaitan will play with your anus. If you don't say a prayer before intercourse, Shaitan will rod himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. This is why you are following a filthy man and we are following the Holy Messiah. No, sir, I also respect Jesus Christ. He is I don't care prophet. if you respect my friend. This is this. We are discussing the truth and facts. You don't have to agree with me. You keep saying I respect, I respect. If you respect Jesus, you don't say what you are saying about him. No, sir. Uh, the thing is that uh, the Prophet ﷺ uh, uh, taught us about all the things. He taught about uh, taught, uh, taught us about Muhammad the direct, said uh, that dietary. Allah, he promised me when, when Khadija was dying, he said, send my greeting to my wives. Khadija, she said to him, mm. did you marry women before me? She was dying. Mm. He said, he yes. no. Allah, he promised me so, uh, as Asiya and marry the mother of Jesus. They will be my wives. So I respect you, my friend, and then I will sleep with your mother. Yes. Is that how you respect Jesus? No, 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 sir. Okay. So what is the respect? Obviously, this man is 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 ill, is sick. He want to have the wife of the Pharaoh. He want to he yes. want to have the sister of Moses, which is the yes. Mary, the mother of Jesus, according to him. So obviously, mm. this person is sick. Anyone is famous. He want to have her in the bed. He worship himself. He no, himself, sir, I just asked, sir, uh, sir, I just asked you a simple question that I want to know that uh, like uh, the adultery is forbidden in 
the Christianity. You agree with me that adultery is forbidden in Christianity? Absolutely. Jesus, he said, even it's better for you to take your eye if it's going to mislead you and get you to take you to hell. So, but, sir, but, so but in sir, Islam, li likewise. <clears throat> So, so, sir, likewise, I'm asking you a simple question that is masturbation allowed or not? It is a very simple question. My friend, my friend, who, uh, uh, anything is not, let us say, it's not what God supposedly given you. It is not lawful. So it, the masturbation as a, as a, let us say, as a technique you do, it, it's nothing. But when you do masturbate, you will be thinking about someone else, right? Yes. Okay, that is the sin. Because you are not just masturbating. It's not that just the fluid is coming out. You are imagining, thinking. According to your prophet, is okay. As an example, when a woman, she come to Muhammad, and she said to him, yes. I saw a wet dream. Mm -hmm. Did Muhammad, he question how you do that? What you were dreaming about? You have no, no husband? No. All what he's worried about is washing her vagina. So Muhammad is yes. a person, he is very silly, you don't go really for what is sin or what is not. Actually, the Quran no, says, hold on, hold on, my friend. You asked me a question. Let me explain to you. Yes, yes, yes. <coughs> Imagine me and you right now talking, and then a lady, she entered my room, and she say, Christian Prince, I have a question. I was imagining myself having boom, boom with the guy. Please, you are a prophet. Yes. Can, should I wash my vagina now? What is that? So the question yes. for Muhammad was not about doing sin. The question is, should he should he should should, should wash her vagina or not? I mean, this is this is stupid religion. So he should say to her, "Well, you should not do that anyway." While you are mm -hmm. while you are imagining yourself with a man touching yourself, he said to her, "Wash your." So now this is the problem: washing the vagina. No, sir. Like you quoted the verses of uh, Gospel of Matthews that uh, that if you look lustfully at the girl with the eye, so you can pop up the eye. Uh, so likewise, the Prophet, uh, it is even written in the Surah Nur in the chapter number 24 that uh, lower your gaze and guard your modesty. So Islam also teaches, uh, teaches us about modesty and guarding our eyes and our private parts. So it is also a very pure religion. My friend, there's a video made just a few days ago. You can w watch it in the, the channels of, uh, I forget the name about a guy, his name <clears throat> is Fifi and two other Muslims. And the, the title of it, yes. is it, is it okay to be a pimp? And you are the one who mentioned the chapter of An-Nur, chapter 24. Yes, chap okay. chapter 24, yes. All right. Yes. It's allowed for you to be a pimp. Go and watch the video. Those are three Muslims who's, who hate me to death. Yes. The question was, it, uh, and they said to them, they are speaking to them, each other. They said, brother, it sounds like it's okay to be a pimp. This is a permission to be a pimp. Watch the video on love. This is chapter 424, yes. 424, sorry, chapter 24, yes. verse number 33. It says that it is, don't force your girls to do prostitution. Prostitution, not only adultery. This is a pimp house. Yes. And yes. if you force them, Allah is all merciful. So there's no penalty in Islam mm -hmm. for you being a pimp. And actually, if you force it, Allah is merciful. If they agree, it's a good deal, which means, don't force them to do prostitution. So what if they what if they agree? If they agree, it's fine. No, no. Well, no, no, no. This is the this is the verse in front of you, chapter four, verse twenty-four, and you can go watch the video. Somebody post the link, please. Mm -hmm. Admin, post the link. Post the link about no, the, no, the sir, permission to no, be sir, a pimp. The, the, <laughs> no, sir. The, ver the verse is saying that you should not force the girls to prostitute uh, to prostitution. But if you do, but no, sir. Okay, okay, just okay hold on, hold on. I, just I will go with you. I will go with you. You shall not for not for force not your girls to do prostitution. If they force not, force not, okay, okay. Yes. What if they don't force? If because it says there's a condition. If they don't mm -hmm. want, so if they want, it's okay. No, this is so. Uh, friend, this is related to me. common sense. Uh, no, no, it's not up to you. The word is there. It says in aradna tahasuna. If they don't want, yes. if they want chastity, they don't want to do that. Yes. Okay, force them not. So if they want that, then you can do so. No, and sir, that go, is also for... You can go, sir, you just can go a read the interpretation. Sir, and you can go... Brother can, you, brother, can you give me just one minute? Go ahead. Sir, I'm just saying that uh, when we take out the directives, we should read all the Quran and the, all the Quran should friend, be in our mind. I so just, sir, just, sir, than, sir, just give me one give me minute. Speech, sir, just give... you, no, listen, don't give me a speech. Trust me, I know the Quran from the beginning to the end. In the top, on the top of that, isn't it you as a Muslim believe that even prostitution or adultery 
It is a destiny. It is a? It is a destiny. Uh, what is the meaning of destiny? Can you please? Destiny me? means Allah, he wrote for you that you are going to sleep with this woman and this woman and this woman. And then uh, you have no, to do that it. is forbidden. What do you mean forbidden? That uh, it is not allowed. Prostitution is not allowed. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Is it true that adultery doesn't matter if prostitution or not now adultery or in general is it true that Allah he wrote for you how many women you will sleep with which you have to do yes or no mm, uh, I, I cannot uh, understand your question okay is it true that in the Allah before he created you he wrote yes. that Mr. Muhammad is going to sleep with a woman her name is Fatima and women her name is Halima and women her name is uh, uh, Jonah whatever and then oh, oh, okay okay I understand your question that you are asking that is it predestined all these yes, things yes I think that uh, it will be predestined as God has predestined all the things in all this right. world so uh, how is that forbid adultery if Allah is the one who is making you do adultery <laughs> no no he has given us free will but he knows that who will do the no, no, adultery this is not about not he adultery. knows you see you, you, are, you don't know what predestiny mean predestiny mean not he knows it mean he decide for you <laughs> okay, I, okay want you, brother, I, want you, I, will... I want you, my friend, I want you to look with me in the screen. I have a hadith for you, which is authentic. <laughs> yes, yes. <coughs> Go ahead, please read. Excuse yes, me, just give me one minute. I am, I am opening the screen. Just give me one minute. Yes. All right. Go ahead. Can you read it? <clears throat> Uh, yes, verily Allah has fixed the very proportion of adultery. Okay. Uh, can I go ahead? What? Uh, verily Allah has fixed the very proportion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which he of necessity must commit. The adultery of the eye is the lustful look mm. and the adultery of tongue is the listless speech. The heart desires and yearns which the parts may or may not be perfect. Okay. You must commit. So Allah, he wrote for you how much adultery you would do, which you must commit. It's not a free will, as you say. Yes. Okay. So what, where is, where, yes, yes. what this religion is about? This is stupid. So Allah, he decides no, for sir. me. No, sir. What do you mean, no, sir? You I have mean, perceived the wrong... Uh, uh, my brother, you have just perceived the wrong meaning of the hadith. Okay, give me the real meaning. Go ahead. So, sir, the right meaning is that uh, Allah is basically saying Allah knows, Allah knows that friend, we why, will commit why adultery. Why and... Adding words is not there. It says, Allah has fixed, has fixed. Not Allah knows. Allah has fixed. Read with me. Read with me. I don't know what's wrong with Muslims when they're yes. reading. Are you blind? Yes. Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. He is the one who fixed it for for you. He did not say yes. Allah. He knows how much you will do. It says. He is the one who fixed the very portion which a man would do of his necessity. Yes. He must commit. He must, does it say must commit? Yes. Okay. So if there's no choice to change in the future and not to do it, there's no choice to be good or bad. For Allah, he wrote for you the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in. So it's not about yes. Allah he knows. It's about Allah he decides yes. for you. Yes. So you Christians do not believe in predestination? No, we don't believe in such a thing because this is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. This is why Jesus said, okay. when, when the Jews, they, they crucified him in the, in the cross, he said, forgive them, Father, they do not know what they are doing. Because if it was a predestiny, why he will forgive them? <laughs> you know? so, sir, 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 likewise, this seat is also in the uh, Taif and the... Uh, Prophet was uh, persecuted friend, by this the is people. Not, this is not sah this is not daif. This is sahih hadith. Secondly, it's all over the Quran. The Quran says so. Predestiny is so clear. And even your Prophet he claimed that even the sin of Adam was a predestiny. Allah he decided for you for him to commit sin forty years before he created him. Correct. Yes. Okay. Yes. So why why Allah okay, he picked Adam? So I will, so uh, do, if, uh, I will do. All right. So if Allah he, he he forced Adam to commit sin, why he kicked Adam from heaven? <laughs> because 
because it was also the free will. There is also written in the Quran that uh, Allah has given us free will. That is why we are Ashraful. My friend, what is the free will? I mean, I, 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 I talking to myself. If Allah He wrote for you the destiny you will do, and then even Adam mm -hmm. He did not commit sin. Allah forced him to commit sin, and you keep saying to me free will. I will read about these things. All right. Okay, so, brother. So, uh, thank you. Any anything else I can help you with? <clears throat> uh, 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 and uh, can you also tell me about uh, any application of Bible that is available on App Store that I can read? Well, uh, you know, you know, for me, there's nothing that's called application. God is not a book. God is not application. God is the one who make you a better person. So, if a book. Yes will fail to make you a better person. This is a book of the devil, as simple as that. So when the Quran says you can go and do muta, this is not God talking for sure. When the Quran says uh -huh. that God will give you women with big boobs, this is insult to your mother and my mother, your sister and my sister, because women is not, they are human like us and we are born yes. from them. We should not speak about them. They are just boobs. So yes. a word of God is not an application. A word of God is the is the miracle which can change you and can change me to be better people. So look around mm. you now. Is the Muslims better people because of Islam or they are burning the earth around them and around their neighbors? Sir, I am also Muslim, but I never committed adultery. My friend, or because never... you are not a Muslim. If you are a Muslim, you will do what Muslims do. You're a prophet, even he no. forbid. Okay, let, let me ask no. you. Are you, yes. are you allowed? Are you allowed to do farming? Mm, farming yeah mm, yes we are allowed to do farming Muhammad he said that those who do farming they will go to hell where it is written please give me reference we can find the hadith research remember the hadith what the hadith is saying uh, because he wants you to be a war warrior and those yes. who do that you know let us see if I can find it let me try. I'm trying to remember the hadith Sir, uh, one more thing that please also do not reveal my identity as I do not want my identity to be revealed. You want what? Uh, sir, I basically want to hide my identity. I'm not showing you. Uh, anything. I, I, you know, and always you can call me, change your, give yourself whatever name you want. I don't know. I don't so share. I, I don't share. Really, I, okay, I don't okay, share. Okay, this is why I told thank you. you. Thank you. This is why I told you. Give me a name to call you with. You know, I did not. I don't okay. care who you are. Right. God, God bless you. God bless you, brother. You're welcome. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to remember the hadith you see sometime like sometime your memory fail you uh, uh, sir can you please tell me that uh, which translation of the Quran have you read of its scholar I do not read the translation I speak Arabic Arabic is my first language when I share here oh. translation I share because you guys don't speak Arabic you know oh so you know uh, how uh, to speak Arabic I'm an Arab oh oh nice so this is why I say to you, it says in Aradna Tahasuna. So, you know, if they choose desire, if, if they choose its chastity, mm -hmm. then so what if they choose not? Then it's okay, right? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, okay, uh, yeah, actually, let me let me see. I think I found I found the hadith. Yes. And here you will see that Muhammad is a very evil person. Read with me carefully. Mm. Yes. It says here. Uh, uh, no, actually, this is not the one I want. They posted the hadith, but this is not the one I want. Yeah, this is not the one you want. Yeah, no, there's there's a hadith. This is a different hadith. I will try to remember it. Yeah, there's a hadith clearly. Muhammad he says that he, like the one who have those equipment, agriculture equipment, Allah will humiliate him. Allah literally yes. will humiliate this person. Yeah. And then you ask yourself, why in the world such a thing will happen to a person for he is doing farming where we will eat, because. Muhammad, he want criminals who go yeah. after. Uh, here we go. I found it actually. Here we go. Abu Umama on saying a uh, 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 long share and come to agriculture in uh, equipment or etc. He told that he had heard the prophet saying that this is will not enter any people's house without God causing. Ignore, ign ign ignore to enter it. Mm. This is Al Bukhari. So just because you have, just because 
you have equipment of farming in your house Allah will humiliate this house why what is the problem exactly what the sin what sin mm -hmm. they committed so who is going to feed the Muslims I will do research on this who is going to feed the Muslim my friend this is Bukhari who is going to feed the yes. Muslims so the one who mm -hmm. have equipment of agriculture he will be humiliated by Allah so who really? are you uh, are you Catholic or Protestant my friend there's nothing there's not such a thing Catholic or Protestant Jesus he is the Lord and this is what we worship we don't worship a Pope we don't worship a priest the man who follow a man he will die with the man the one who follow God that is the Messiah he will live forever so those questions they don't count for me so do you consider Jesus a God yes he's my Lord he's my Savior absolutely no but he was the uh, he was the prophet of God he was not God as how can the God be crucified my friend, how how can God be crucified and don't and come back if He is not God? <laughs> yes. You see, so why we ask ourselves? You see, I want you to be smart. You know, I believe you are a smart person, but you know, yes. you grow up in a society and you repeat the questions. You heard it. How Jesus can be God? He was crucified. The question is, well, did Jesus go and never come back? Did Jesus get killed, and that's it? Mm. He was a loser or victorious. So let us say, I am a person who is wearing bulletproof. And then people shoot at me. And then, okay, they, because they shot too many shots, I am now in the ground. And even they buried me. But the second day, yes. I came back to them and I say, I'm alive. So how yes. that can be done for a human like me and you? Is that normal? Yes. Uh, that so... So uh, I have one more question that if you consider Jesus as God, then in all the uh, previous Abrahamic religions, Jesus should also be considered God. But in, but in the Judaism, the God was, there was one God, but in the Christianity, there's Trinity. Now so friend, why is this? One God is the Trinity is not the opposite. Because simply, when we say one God, we are not adding additional God. The Trinity is one God. We believe, we Christian, when we pray, we be say our Father. We don't say our Father's Yes. Have you ever seen a Christian saying our fathers? No. No. Our father. Why? Because we believe in one God. So he's one God, but our God, he is a present between us, or he 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 told us about himself that he is a spirit, which means he's between us, yes. but we cannot see him. And he come to us as a flesh, that is the word, which is God. Yes. Come to us in the flesh. And he in the same time he is in heaven. That is the Father. Yes. So three person, one God. So if we say how that can be possible, that's very easy. If you go in the Quran, yes. you will see that Jesus, and he is in the Quran, he is just a prophet, right? Yes. Okay. The Quran said that Jesus is the word of God, correct? Yes. Okay. This word, Allah, he's, he, he sent it down to Mary, correct? Yes. All right. This word became a man, correct? Yes. This word have a spirit, correct? Yes. Okay. So if we go in the Quran and read the chapter 4, verse 171, we will see that the same verse is saying no trinity is the same verse saying you can be three and one at the same time. Read with me yes. carefully. Chapter 4, verse 171. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say of Allah thought but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was between two brackets this muslim translation no more than okay a messenger of allah so take a note he is just a man correct yes all right and then yes and he is his word so he's what he's the word of allah correct yes okay and he is he based with that word on mary and a spirit proceeding from him from him who from god correct yes okay so let us put it together the same verse saying don't say trinity which means you cannot be one and three in the same time do we agree yes all right so no no uh, no please repeat the question what you were saying the verse saying don't say trinity don't say three yes. and one trinity is three and one right three which is yes. one okay yeah. so don't say trinity yes. but the same verse says there's a there's a there's different kind of trinity look at this he's he just said that the messiah he was sent yes. down first in a form of a word he was a word. 
So yes. before the Messiah become a man, he was what? He was a word. So, sir, my, uh, on, my on. question was my just... Friend, my question was... My friend, okay. hold on, hold on. Jesus was what? The word, right? Do you agree? Yes. Okay. Yes. If we go to John chapter 1, you see, in the beginning it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God. That is Jesus. Yes. Okay. So, for us as a Christian, the second you say Jesus is the word, you are saying Jesus is God. Simple. Because the word of God is God. God without his word does not exist. God word so, is the logos. The logos is what God, sir, the, the will of God. Let me continue. So Jesus is the word sent to, to down to who? To Mary, right? Yes. Okay, this word become what? Become a man, correct? Yes. John chapter 1, verse number 14, and the word became a flesh. So Muhammad is copying John chapter 1 and putting it in this verse. Trying to fight sir, the Trinity. My, my... Let, hold on, my friend. So look what happened to Jesus now. He is a flesh. He is yes. a messenger. Yes. Transformed from the word. In the same time, yes. he is a spirit proceeding from God. Do you see the I in yes. in your translation? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. I am not, and you are not proceeding from Allah. You are not. Yes. To make it clear for you, God created Adam and Eve. And then he gave Adam and Eve the ability of reproduction, correct? Yes. Okay, to yes. reproduce. In the case yes. of Jesus, he himself is the Spirit of God, not from Adam. Yes. yes. Okay, so he is the Word, he is a messenger, which means he's a man, and he is the Spirit of God in the same time. Three but one in the same time. How that can be? So, sir, my, my question is very simple that uh, why isn't the concept of Trinity present in Judaism? Why it is not present in it Judaism? It is. It is. If you go right away from the book of Genesis, you will see that God and his spirit, right away, the spirit of God. And then God, he came to Abraham as a man. This is why Jesus said, before Abraham, I am. The Jews, they said to him, well, you are not even 50 years old. What do you mean? Yes. <laughs> you know, before Abraham, you are. He says that truly, truly, uh -huh. I say to you that Jesus, he saw yes. my day and he rejoiced for it. So the Bible uh -huh. speaks clearly in many verses about yes. the Trinity as a word does not exist in the Bible. The same as the word Tawheed. Uh -huh. If we go in the whole uh -huh. Quran, we will not find the word Tawheed in the Quran. There's no Tawheed. Uh -huh. So the Trinity is just a word we use today to present uh -huh. the faith. What is the Trinity is? Instead of saying uh, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, we say Trinity. Uh -huh. but, but that word itself is not the important. The important is uh -huh. what we believe in in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. But as you see, when the Muslim they uh -huh. say that is not that is impossible, well, here we go. Your prophet he present to us something impossible uh -huh. too. Jesus is the Spirit of God. Uh -huh. The Quran says, We made every creature, which means every creature uh -huh. since uh, Adam, you know, by uh -huh. lineage, by sexual relationship, but by marriage. Uh -huh. If you go and read the interpretation, you will see exactly what I am saying. But Jesus is not from a sexual relationship. Do we agree? Yes. All right. So Jesus is an exception from chapter 25, verse number 54. Yes, his birth was miraculous. Exactly. This is why Muhammad he says, Adam in Every son of an Adam is a sinner. Correct? Mm, yes. Jesus is not. Yes. Jesus is not. Why? Because he is not son of Adam. He is yes. not from the lineage of Adam. He is not coming from sexual relationship. So yes. Jesus is different in everything, even in your Quran. He is the word of God. He is holy. Chapter 19, verse number 19. The Holy Son, the angels say to Mary, we are here to give you the glad tidings of Holy Son. So Jesus never commits sin. Jesus from above. Jesus said, I am from above. You are from below. How we can explain that? I am not of this yes. world. You are of this world. So Jesus made it clear mm -hmm. that he is mm -hmm. not from this world. He don't belong here. So, uh -huh. Jesus, when he said that, either he, you, you can say this guy is a crazy, uh -huh. saying crazy stuff, you think he is coming from different galaxy, or you have to accept that Jesus making it clear that he's God. And yet the Muslims, they say to us, where Jesus is, God worship me. <laughs> when, uh -huh. when Jesus said, before Abraham I am, the Muslim, they will say to you, and you are a Muslim, okay, Jesus uh -huh. was born in the year of etc. So where was the Trinity before? Right? Yes. Well, Jesus said that the answer is with Jesus. He said, before Abraham I am. So his existence have nothing to do with his birth. Hmm. Okay. okay. 
So, sir, now I'm a little busy. I have to do right, some work. So, well, you are bye. welcome, and I'm happy that you call me, and I invite you to leave Islam right away, because Islam is nothing but an ugly cult and sir, nothing but sir, deception. Just, uh, sir, and it's not, sir, not but, from sir, God. But please, sir, but please do not reveal my identity. No please. problem. No, no, no worry, my friend. Go ahead. Take okay, care. Okay. Take care. Allah. Okay, love. Always, if you are a Muslim, change your name, the one you use in your Skype, and I will not know about it. Nobody will know about it anyway. <clears throat> He's a nice guy, right? We have to agree. He's a gentleman, trying to understand. And this is why we are here. This is why we are here. Muhammad is an evil person. Even even farming, because all mankind they live because of a farmer, correct? I mean, who what we eat today, what you ate today, there is somebody is feeding you. Muhammad don't want that. Muhammad want criminals. Why he will get upset because somebody doing farming? Because he's evil. What exactly should be our job? In your job, you go, you attack the farmer, you take his wife, you take his chicken, you take his cow, you slaughter them, you eat them, you have fun. And then, second day, we attack other farmer. This is a very evil man. Based on this, all the Muslims who do farming in the world, Indonesian, where are your stars, Indonesians? How many farmers you have in Indonesia? All of Indonesia, maybe it's farmers. According to this, Allah will humiliate you. And let me pause the link. You see, sometimes, like, I mean, I have billions of hadith in my head. I don't know, I mean, uh, stories. And sometimes, like, you want to find something, and, like, the idea did not come right away. You know, I mean, this is what happened to you when you became 110 years old. Let me post the link for you guys so you can save it. So if later I mention it, you will have it. All right. Did we have a good time? Now this person, I encourage him to go check everything. I, actually, everything I said, I showed him in the screen, right? <laughs> I didn't make a speech. We don't make speeches here. Most of them, they open their channels, bashing the Bible. Look what the Bible says, like a guy in the comment section. He says, in uh, in uh, Matthew, sorry, in, 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 in Luke. In Luke, it says, your servant, uh, Jesus approved of slavery. What the heck? Jesus dead? <laughs> but Jesus never owned slave. What is that? He said, in the book of Luke. We go to the book of Luke. The same verses he's asking us for. We will find that this is about... Servant who serve God. This is not about real servant. When they are desperate, trying to find anything against Christianity. And yes, in the Old Testament, there's a slaves. A Hebrew slave can be a slave for seven years. He offered himself as a slave. And there's a slave of a war. The Jews themselves, they became a slave of the whole nation, eye for an eye. Those people, they are fighting to survive. Even we showed you just a few days ago, if you remember, when we made a video, when this guy, he debated David Wood, which is a funny debate from both of them. Both of them, they are acting like kids. I don't know how those people, they call those debates, our debate. But anyway, even in your religion, when the Muslims they speak about the Book of Number, we will find that in the interpretation says that the enemies, they killed all the Jewish women and only one woman left. And this is the woman she gave birth to Shaul. <laughs> uh, can you talk about chapter 65 for maybe next time, my friend, because this is a different topic for now. But anyway, and you know, we are here for a while. Uh, now I noticed that YouTube is downing down the numbers of my view so we understand that YouTube is fighting my videos I understand because it doesn't make sense you know I mean I saw the videos my video the previous video in the morning I wake up I said to myself let me see because I promised them if it's 20,000 I will go live again so I look it was 17,000 
Then I look afternoon, it is 14,000. Can you believe it? So six or seven or eight hours after, and instead of having more than 20, 25,000, we have 14, it was 17,000 in the morning. So obviously, the Abdul in YouTube, they are playing games with me because I said I will go live when it is 20. So they said to themselves, okay, we will put it down always. <laughs> so he will not go live. <laughs> So my friend, uh, we will go live and we will save the Muslims. We don't hate them and we don't want you to hate them. They are lost and they need somebody to help them. And we are here to help. This person, he will go right now. He will check everything I said, everything I showed him the screen. We did not say a single thing we did not show in the screen, which is their own words, their own translation, and they cannot deny it. Can they? They cannot. When Muhammad he says that Mecca and Medina, sorry, is protected and no plague will enter it, and no corona will enter it, and then we'll find that people die by tens of thousands. Muhammad is a fraud. And right now, for the last two years, the whole two cities almost blocked, uh, closed down, shut down. If there's no plague can enter the city, why you shut it down? Why people are dying there? So you do not need to be a genius to know that Muhammad is a fraud. You do not need to be a genius. So, I'm here to help the Muslims, and you can tell, this is why this is why those who claim to have knowledge, they don't dare to call me, because they will look like a bunch of fool. I bet you this gentleman who called us, he think he have a lot of knowledge, but suddenly he noticed he know nothing. This is why those who have long beard, they avoid calling me because it's going to be a very bad embarrassment. Where we can find source that Allah has a golden bed. Uh, you know, I mean, golden bed, this is like, you know, this is a... Uh, we can find source not only about golden bed, it's about Allah being carried, he's a throne, not, not a bed. He's being carried by a chair, he have a chair, carried by eight angels. And then the Muslims, they add their own fictions to this chair. That is like a chandelier, and the heaven will be underneath of the chair, and blah, 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 etc. But this is, will be a different story for maybe other time. Can you talk about Zakaria Botros? Yeah, my friend, there is no need to talk about Zakaria Botros. If you know this person, support him. He's a wonderful man. Sort of the gen we spoke about it today already. What we will talk about it. Um, you can go and read the interpretation of the Quran where it says that Allah chair will be carried by eight, uh, and then we find those eight. Uh, they are supposedly eight angels who have four faces, each one of them, and then it says that they are four goats, mountain goats. Go to chapter 69, verse number 17. All right, and then read the interpretation. You will find more description about those stories. Let us find. Here we go. There's eight. I don't know what the name in English for those uh, animals uh, elk eight elk okay it says here uh, and above them above there is eight mountains goat mountain goat the distance between whose hoof and the lunches and the hunches is like the distance between heaven and the next heaven my friend, the Christian Savior, stop repeating yourself. I answered you. Go and read the interpretation for those verses. 
why people are you know they keep repeating 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 and what you know and do you think i'm just here to show you the tons of endless uh, reference come on don't we have enough i just answer you. you 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 don't you don't want to do any job you want me to go and open the pages and flip the pages for you i read the pages you you don't want to do anything i just told you go and read the interpretation for the verses where we can find where we can find where we can find you don't want to do anything You will see now, I, I will finish the video, and then I'll go to Patreon, I will see somebody saying, where well, can find this reference? I just post it. They are lazy, they don't want to do anything. And they think I have nothing to do except just, and, and what, what, what make it really make me upset from people is, I stay for hours with them, posting reference, showing reference. And after I finish, they ask me for the same reference, or they ask me questions when I'm done. A friend, if you have a question, ask it here. You ask me a question, I answer you. This is one of the funny things about people here, that no matter how many times I repeat, even the same topic, they ask me for the reference. Or a person will say to me, where well, I can't find the reference in your book. My friend, it's in the book where i can find the reference which is in your book i mean do you see the madness like last time I, I i finished my podcast i saw the text but it was too late i said like god bless you and i'm done somebody saying where can i find the reference of your book six and a lot my friend it's in the book it is in the reference there it says this is in the book of etc page etc and you're asking me where we can find the reference of your book What's wrong with people? So why I'm giving you there the name of the book and the page number? People, they drive you crazy, my friend. Where I can find the reference in your book? Do you remember the, the Fifi? He says, I cannot find the reference in a Christian Prince introduction. The first page, they could not find it. Five, six Muslims, they start looking, they could not find it. And then we get them busted in two seconds. I mean, a kid, he can find it right, right away. And they made a video about it and a scandal. Christian Prince, the introduction is not there. He is making things up. And then people start laughing at them. Just use your brain. Listen carefully to the conversation I just have with this person. And I want you to ask yourself how we can have similar conversation with a Muslim. The answer is very easy. Build your knowledge before he talk. Before he finish his talk, I have an answer for him. Before he even finish the question, I have the answer for him. That not because there's a two people who just love to talk. You have to talk and make sense. So this person, he retreat. You have no answer what he can say. He cannot deny it. He cannot say it's not true. Why? Because knowledge is power. Ignorance is shame. And you as a Christian, you are following the God of knowledge. That's why Jesus said, Read the books. He order you to read the books. Search the truth. And when you find it, the truth will set you free. That is God. God is the one who set me free, not the one who make me Abdul, slave. God do not need slaves. He is almighty. What I will do to him, I will cut a tree. I will cook a sandwich. What I can do to God? Nothing. So the true God, the true Lord which we follow, he do not need slaves. This is why Jesus, when they ask him how to pray to God, he said, say this, our Father. We have a Father. We are children in his kingdom. They are slaves. We are free in his kingdom. They are slaves. 
we are free from our needs when Jesus said he and she they will not get married in heaven which means they will not have sex you know what Jesus is talking about he said you will be the same as angels you will not be an angel but you are the same as angels which mean God will free you from all your needs this is the freedom you are not under any kind of needs in Islam you are slave of needs you go to heaven Allah will increase your horny desire hundred of time so you wish to do it maybe once a day once a week in earth in heaven you cannot stop having sex he make you addicted he make you slave of your penis and your vagina with Jesus you are free you are free from all the needs and that will make you a true child of God and in the heaven of Christ if God cannot make me happy without food what kind of God this God is in the heaven of Islam is nothing but big boobs falafel actually there's not even falafel there's only meat of birds I mean there's not even a cheese kebab which is stupid he said to me whatever you wish and then the buffet is just bird food so when we speak about the Messiah <clears throat> uh, when we speak about the Messiah we speak about the Lord he want us to be free he want us to be children of God he do not need slaves Jesus never owned one Jesus he never charged people for service Jesus he never asked kings to build him palaces imagine if you have the power of Christ today you can bring people from death how many people are willing to pay all the money they have if you can bring me back from death how many how many kings would love to have such a person each time they die he bring them back to life so with the Messiah we are a new people uh, a man saying as if you don't have a desire for that a man uh, thank you for saying that this is this is showing me that Islam is you know Muhammad is a stupid man and his God proven to be stupid too because he could not make you smart the sex desire my friend it was not meant to be a desire for sex it was desire to have a family this is why God he created Adam and Eve not Adam and 72 Eves so with your religion you made nothing except everything is about sex with the Messiah, Adam and Eve was created to have a family, a man who love a woman, a woman who love a man, not a man and hundreds of chickens as a rooster. So your God is the God of the lost. So God gave me a sexual desire to have a family, but not to be a pimp. In your religion, Muhammad, he made you a pimp. You exchange women as a change in shoes. The value of marriage does not exist. Women is just a sex toy. Just do it legally. And they call it halal. You go, you ask a woman to sleep with you, go to the mezun, how much you charge me. I will sleep with you two days, three days, and then I divorce you and then I get another woman. Or I can divorce every day four women and marry new four women second day. Because there's no marriage in Islam, it's just a prostitution, right? That you are not a man is that what you are saying well my friend I do not need to prove to you that I'm a man I don't want to be rude to you because a man is not about having sex because if what make you a man is having sex that means all donkeys are men and by the way your prophet he cannot have sex this is why the Quran says the one who accused me that you are cut off he is the one who is cut off so your prophet is the one who said in the hadith I was the most weak person in between mankind in boom boom and then I invoke my God 
and then he sent me a dish of shish kebab I ate it I get the power of 40 men so based on you you are saying that your prophet wasn't a man because he was the lowest the lowest between all mankind how you can beat that and here we notice Muhammad is again being a fool since when shish kebab will give you the power of 40 men and what kind of God he cannot fix the penis of his prophet unless he made shish kebab for him in his kitchen I thought God he can make you strong very easy they say hey Muhammad penis fixed <laughs> Muhammad penis is strong <laughs> but no Allah have to go to the kitchen buy some spices and Indian curry mix it with some beef and then he make like word like chicken you voodoo you know and then he send it with Jibreel and then Jibreel come to Muhammad Muhammad and Muhammad now his penis is not working he said who is this hey Muhammad don't feel down man don't feel down the solution is coming here here we go Allah he just sent him a dish send you a dish eat it and you will see what will happen Muhammad he says man I tried everything it's not going to work I played even the anthem he's not standing up Jibreel says trust me this is the recipe of Allah he went to the kitchen and he did it he said, I'm telling you it's not going to work I played the music did not work anthem did not stand up it's nothing working I told you I'm the most weak you know, most weak person between all mankind and boom boom and just said try it and you will see and then Muhammad he put the first bite the second he put the first bite brother his penis start like moving the second bite became an antenna the third bite he was jumping like a mule and what make it more funny that Fatima she ate with him so I don't know if Fatima she got the power of 40 men too that is a different story so anyway <laughs> How do you say you're the man? <laughs> this is what make you a man. <laughs> Your prophet have 13 wives. He could not have a baby from any of them. I wonder what is that? And you know, when when uh, when uh, a woman, she came to Muhammad and he, she said that she have a wet dream. Uh, and she's talking about washing her vagina. So you know she is saying that she have orgasm so the wife of Muhammad she said do the woman have this charge do you see it this is the wife of your prophet your prophet never never ever made her have this charge and you are talking with the man this is the wife of Muhammad make it clear that this powerful man who got the, po the power of 40 men after eating the dish of shish kebab, he never was able to make his wife have orgasm. And she's asking the husband, like, what the heck? Women have this charge? What? Do you see it? This is the wife of your prophet. The laundry is out. Now, everybody knows in the world now, thank the Muslims, they report for us the story, knows that Muhammad, he was not using his penis for sure. He was using lipstick. Prove me wrong. She never ever heard that there is a woman, she can have orgasm. And who is she? She is the wife of Muhammad. So what Muhammad was doing in the bed? Watching cartoon? Like what the heck? Hey Muhammad, the wife is. Uh, so, I don't want to. I don't want to go in details, but I feel sorry for this woman. So her husband, the husband, he go around. He says, "I was yesterday with all the wives. No wonder he were with all the wives. He were doing nothing." The hadith says he used to go to his wife, boom, boom, all of them. He was doing nothing. He was shaking hands. In the best scenario, shaking boobs. But as you see, this wife, she's, you see, this is proof not only this woman, she never has this charge, even the other wives, because they speak to each other. She never heard, ever.
that there is a woman and she have this charge like what it's like first time watching discovery channel and then Muhammad have to explain to her he says now nah, yeah sure otherwise how the child resembled his mother look at the genius too so this charge make you resemble your mother can you believe it the stupidity This charge of the women is the reason to resemble your mother. Look at the genius, Muhammad. Different hadith says that the one who comes first, the baby will look like him, which means a male or female, and look will look the same too. So if you are ugly, if you are not good looking, regardless if you are male or female, please, please don't have orgasm first. We have enough ugly people in this earth. I mean, look at me. Hello? <laughs> anyway, I think we have enough for today. Did we have a good time? I think yes, we did. So please don't forget to leave your comment because comment will increase the view of people. People will share. And uh, feel free to uh, you know, say something. I mean, you watch the whole video. You have nothing to say. Are you a piece of wood? Are you a watermelon? Are you a goat? Nothing moved you? Nothing make you think? Nothing make you question? Nothing make you answer? Because if nothing can move you after all of this, that means you are not really exist. You are just a watermelon. Somebody will open you, put you in the fridge, and that will happen sooner or later. So don't be a watermelon. Don't. Be human who use his brain and the Lord he gave us amazing gift uh, why you don't put uh, to a single video we have many videos about him go watch them I mean why this one only who care when I put a video people don't watch the poem uh, uh, I mean the last videos they focus in it and they forgot the video before it so that video because I wanted them to watch the video before it which is way more important than the stupid to a singer already we got him busted many time what a big deal anyway thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you all and I hope that the gentleman who called me today he will call me next time leaving Islam and I think he will this is why he is he was worrying about his identity he is thinking seriously that he don't want to be Muslim no more so I think this is the scenario. So we pray for this person, pray for him to be saved, pray for his family to see the truth, pray that every Muslim will see how stupid this religion is and they will get out of it. I remember one thing, that with a Christ, impossible is possible. So if it is impossible to make a Muslim believe, you are wrong, because with a Christ, it is possible. It's not a Christian prince who make a Muslim believe. It is the Lord who help to open their eyes. Remember, they have to come to him and knock at his door, and then he will open for them. So for us, we show them the way, we share the truth, we make them think, and then they have to ask the Lord to answer, and the Lord will answer. So Christ would open their eyes if they choose their eyes to be open, free will. We don't believe in destiny. So would your free will invite Jesus to your house and he will be there? Jesus, he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. So today we spoke about him many times, he is with us. And that can happen to you, Muslims. Invite Christ. His name is amazing. His name is a miracle and he is a miracle. The Messiah is the walking, talking, living word of God. Not only he do miracle, but yet he is the miracle. And the miraculous Christ is going to come back. And that day will be a judgment day. Where all mercy in the world cannot help you. Because it's going to be too late. So accept him before it is too late. God bless you, and see you soon again. Take care.